Hello my beautiful Cancers, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller Duane Knight and today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading about your soul's true purpose for the year of 2024. And uh, we're going to also check to see what are you being guided to and is there any blockages on the path of these things, okay? By the way, I'm also offering private readings, so if you would like one from me, you can go ahead in the description box and book your reading. You can see my Etsy link shop down there. Before I jump into your reading, I would like to let you know that subscription is free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want, but it also helps to circulate the energy when you like, share, and subscribe. Only 30% of you haven't subscribed to the channel. Um, if you're not enjoying it anymore, you can just go ahead and leave the channel. But if you would like to be here, you can go ahead and hit subscribe and support this channel. Or also, this will actually help the people who really need to see this message to get to them as well. Okay? All right, guys, let's jump into your reading and let's see what's coming your way. We're looking into your soul's true purpose, okay? What are you being guided to? What's going to be happening for you? Okay, I see this eye actually has been visible. Not all of them, but most of the signs. So if you have like an air sign or another water sign in your ascending or in your like a Mars, go ahead and check those ones as well, okay? The eye indicates this. Yours is like one single eye. This is actually someone's energy above you, okay? Somebody is maybe blocking some things to come to you or you have this person in your mind and allowing them to block your energy block this goodness to come to you this uh, blessings to arrive in your life but there is a sun is shining um, behind this eye so whoever this person is their eye will be removed off of you this eye indicates their negative energy i see here this looks like a monkey you can see the monkey the body and the long tail and there are other monkeys they are actually on this the tree on the branches of the tree well, let's see uh, the monkeys are known with their intelligence okay known with how smart they are how um, articulate they are and they have like human-like abilities and skill sets okay so this might actually be telling you for the next year, you should maybe increase your knowledge and um, get yourself to a level which will actually increase you. Like when you compare monkeys to other animals, they are much more articulate than the most. And um, this blessing coming your way, this soul's purpose can be actually on a level, knowledgeably, uh, on a higher level than where you are right now from the about the people around you. Get more knowledge and um, enjoy yourself doing that because they also have this playfulness to them. And just be more playful, also become more knowledgeable about the things. It doesn't have to be in a certain area. You can be in an area that you've always been interested, but you never had the chance to go learn more or research more, even get an education about. But overall, I feel like this is a message coming through for this year that you need to learn more about the things that you're interested in. You know what's going to happen is you can see there's another per like another monkey above you. You're going to start to attract very like-minded people uh, when the, in, in the environment that you step in. Okay, And um, this is actually also a gentle reminder to be more cheerful and lighthearted in your approach. Okay, So because when you put the school, like in some schools, actually, actually in higher education like you are there because you want it to you're not like it's not obligatory like you don't have to go to those kind of schools so take this lightly go to something light that you will be enjoying like instead of forcing yourself to take some classes that people think that um like for example what comes to my mind is um those kind of like user experience designers or maybe like some coding I feel like it's like too complicated for me. If I try to do that because it's a trend, because everybody's doing that, that will be a huge burden on me. If that's the case with you, don't do that. Just go with whatever you feel like it's going to be fun, okay? Maybe um, taking a class of the um, structures, like um, uh, Renaissance structures, kind of that kind of a thing, okay? There's some 
thing that is in your area of interest. Um, when you increase your knowledge, this eye is going to be following you for a while because you are being admired. There's another monkey sitting down here. So like um, that's actually a, a guide for you to follow your intuition, follow your higher guidance and get the education, increase of knowledge, that intelligence that you want, you have. Also, I see here another monkey. This monkey, is it holding its ears? I'm not really sure. But, um, no, it's not really holding its ears, but it's just sitting down and pondering. Okay, so this might be even um, another sign for you to just, you know, remove the blockages along the path of uh, curiosity. Instead of just being curious about something, you can start to research and learn more about it as well. When you do, I see there's going to be some darkness hovering over you. There's a person that is holding on to you here. Maybe you're going to be holding on to someone's knowledge and this is going to be pulling you to another dimension, another place, okay? This can be in the environment, the people that you're going to be meeting or maybe the knowledge that's going to be you're going to be holding on to will actually open more doors um into another things and other dimensions but what's going to happen is towards the end of the year you're going to create this lines of communication maybe connections that are going to be forming within you okay that you're going to have friends you're going to create partnerships friendships i see a letter y like an yvette can be in someone's first name or the last name i see a letter e right here this can also be in the name of the education that you want when i look at it this way i cannot see it but i flipped it like this i saw it right there you can see right there the letter e also this way it looks like a number three which indicates happiness and high energy so with what the path that you uh, set up yourself onto might actually bring you a lot of joy and happiness as well. Towards the end of the year, I see two people here. One of them is looking a little strange, a little bit like a reptilian type. No, now the change, the face changed here. So this can be even like a couple that you're going to be forming. This can be a power couple. Maybe someone that you meet will be very good, a like a partner for you. I see the phone lines forming. This indicates that you're going to be connecting with the right people in the right time and the right place with the knowledge that you actually uh, gather. Also, maybe even form a partnership if that's what you want to have in your life. Partnership can be romantic. Um, economic or maybe like a entrepreneur partnership or something like that okay let's get into your plate now if you have a question a desire an intention hold it in your mind and let's see what the answer is going to be for that there's a beautiful this reminds me i want to say new horizon but this reminds me a rainbow okay because it has like layers here Rainbow means like you might have your desires coming very soon, by the way. Initially, I'm gonna tell that. And then the rainbow is telling me you are actually like maybe there are some rainy days that you're going through right now. You see how fast your desire is coming, right? It's just gonna be coming really soon, really fast. What's happening with uh, so many people just appeared out of nowhere, and the rainbow is telling me there's gonna be a celebration. You can see the sun and the crescent moon right here. So this kind of, this is kind of like the sun and moon and seeing them both at the same time is kind of rare occasions. And this indicates like usually the power of the creator, the create creation energy, because uh, like it's not the night, it's not the day, but you can see both of them. And this is actually like a paradox because we believe that in the nighttime, we have the moon, the daytime, we have the sun. But in that kind of occasion, you know that everything and anything is possible at the same time. Okay, They can be at the same time. So uh, your knowledge that when you gain more knowledge, you're going to actually have this like the opportunity to manifest everything that you desire at the same time. And the rainbow appearing is telling me that's definitely uh, if, if you're going through like a rainy day today, uh, the rainbow is going to be coming after that rain. Okay. Uh, just keep focusing on your desires, on um, your goal, your soul's purpose. And if there are any blockages coming, the people are just trying to block you. Or maybe your mind is actually telling you not to do the, that, this and that. If that's the case with you, you know, 
just keep telling that there is actually rainbow after the rain. Okay, it's going to be coming out for you. This is from the Starseed Oracle from Rebecca Campbell. This is a licensed Turkish version, but I translated it here. So um, it says water your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness and rest. Okay, so initially in order to get to your soul's purpose you need to be well rested you can see the stars are shining she's bathing she or he is bathing this beautiful pool of, of like a natural pool and she's surrounded by this peonies or maybe even roses and like she can see the beautiful nebula in front of her and the mountain even so this is actually a very nourishing scene and uh, you don't you maybe you can you, you do not have access to this kind of nourishment, but whatever is nourishment to you, um, you need to give it to your body. You need to give the rest to yourself, okay, to your mind. And um, when you do that, actually connecting with your intuition and attracting the things, uh, people, the places, uh, the offers will be um, very fast when you're feeling rested, okay? We also have empathetic, empathic starseed energetic sovereignty absorbing what's not yours uh, so along the way you might absorb other people's energy you're looking in the mirror right now this is telling me like i told you maybe you can go get take a course from a guru learn how to meditate or maybe teach how to meditate to people you learn get a certificate what happens is this is telling me do not get attached to that person's energy you have your own energy your own way creating your desires, heart's, heart's desire. If you copy that person, you're going to be absorbing what doesn't belong to you. And you're going to be um, actually um, putting that out there. And what's going to happen is people are going to come into your life. You're going to be attracting people, places, things, but they're not going to be under your energy field. They're not going to be um, for your energy they're going to be attached to that other person's energy other situations energy so it might not resonate with you maybe even put you in a situation that the things that i desire the feelings that i desire is not really coming so it's telling me just not to differentiate okay what's happening between you and this person and their energy is different than yours also the vulture spirit says number six to three nothing's wasted so like even if you do take this energy and put it out there and realize that and switch it around you're learning a lesson you're something that you're learning there will be very useful in the future okay so do not feel uh you know um, sorry about yourself bad about yourself do not blame yourself for not seeing the things in advance you know know that everything that you learn from experience will be actually um useful for you in the future we have a number 10 one and zero it's just the individuality and new beginning and buffalo spirit says the abundant universe will provide you okay so keep learning keep moving and if you're manifesting money at the end of all of these things the universe will be providing all of those things that you need to you okay all right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and see Subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.